How are we all doing guys? Welcome back to the Fox's Den for another shave video. Made in Sheffield. Sheffield Steel. The best. Best razors ever. Right guys, what we got today? We've got some new razor for you today. Uh, uh, I'll show you other stuff first. I've just got this soaking. This is Frank Shaving. Uh, 26 milli best badger it's a beautiful brush not not loving i've got it perfect right the salt that we're using today is from reggie's razors it's lovely clean it's more of a cream than a soap but it's a lovely Lovely fresh, really fresh, fresh scent to it. And I'll read you what it says, shaving cream. For gentlemen who prefer the luxury of traditional rich and creamy shaving. Uh, the lather prepared with a brush. The cream produces a protective barrier over the skin, preventing razor burn, nicks and ingrowing hairs. Scented with a traditional masculine fragrance, ideal for very sensitive skin. So, it's cruelty free, free for all, for all skin types and everyday use. And you can see what's in it and what's not in it. Maybe so. So we're going to use that today. We're going to use Mr. Allen from Shave Nation. Dot com. I'm going to use Aqua Velva Ice Blue with extra menthol in it. For the balm, we're going to use the most expensive balm in the world. And that's what we're going to use. Near enough finished it. Right, the razor we're using today. Comes in a lovely, got water on it, lovely presentation tin. And it's a proper tin, not... Absolutely beautiful. It's the Jupiter brass. And it's, uh, I'll tell you the specs on it in a minute. Uh, it's hand polished uh, and entirely made in the UK, which is brilliant. Got to keep going with these UK artists, guys, and try and, and, try and look after them and try and buy the products and that. Uh, and it's free shipping in the UK, UK only. Um, it's 110 grams. The handle length is 100 mil. And it's 108 mil with the cap on the top. And the blade gap is 0 0.5 millimeter. So what I'm gonna do, I'll get all this put together, put the blade in, I'm gonna tell you to treat blade, because I know these blades. Uh, and get this leather mixed up and I'll bring it back right, in. So. Fetch it back guys. And you also get a little metal lifetime warranty card. It's made out of metal, so it's got a lifetime guarantee. You can't go wrong, can you, for that? Uh, I've got to say, it's beautiful. Engineering is smashing. Beautiful. You can see the little R underneath, see it there. It really is a nice blade. You can see my blade in it, Black Beauty. Very nice. It's lovely weight to it, beautiful weight to it. Really nice. No overhang at all. No overhang at all. Right, we'll get that in some warm water. We'll take my lads and lasses off and get the face wet. <sighs> Hope you've all been having some nice shaves. Right, guys, I'm going straight out of the out of the pot. So we'll see how much. I know it's a it's a, a cream. So. Right, 
guys. Just wet my face a little bit more. No pre-shave today. Right, and away we go. Oh, it's brush. Mm, soap smells really fresh, smells lovely. Really nice, fresh smell. How would I describe that? I don't really know, it's just that fresh. I don't call it a barber shop, but it smells a bit citrusy, a bit of citrus in it, and, but just really, really nice. Beautiful. Oh, it's lovely. The brush, now I've got this brush, absolutely mint. It's beautiful. No scratchy, it's all soft, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You can just use tips if you wanted to, or you can splay it out, whichever you want to do. It's lovely. Beautiful brush. I ain't had a bad brush from Frank, to be fair yet. They've all been good, they've all been good. Right, this razor, I'd like to thank Jonathan at uh, Reggie's Razors for sending me this. It's very kind, Jonathan. And uh, I'm really looking forward to this shave, to be honest. Right, here we go. Somebody says it's ever so mild. I don't think so. The blade feel is very, very minimal. Very minimal. Oh, guys, that's spot on, that is. That is, you don't need no pressure. To let, the, let the razor do all the work itself. Just rest it on your face, look, basically. Absolutely lovely. And I'm not just saying that, you know what I'm like, if it's rubbish, I'll say it's rubbish, trust me. I'll say it's rubbish if it is rubbish. <laughs> you can near, you can near enough say that, that were it, guys, but obviously I'm not like that. I've smelt something like that before. And I can't, just can't work out what it is. Saying that I like these treat blades, see, so a lot of people don't get on with them. No need to push on, guys, at all. No need at all to push on. Beautiful. Absolutely lovely. You get some absolutely belting razors, don't you? You can tell, you know what I mean? You can tell the difference in quality. You can tell straight away in quality. But uh, uh, it really is good. And to be all made in the UK, that's fantastic. That is. The other razor that I looked at the other day, what I sent from uh, what they, uh, Mark at uh, Friendship Shaving, that's made in Manchester in England. That one, I forgot all about to mention that. But anyhow, yeah, we mentioned it now. So. <laughs> We've just had chips and fish for us, dinner. They're repeating on me big time. I'm going to sell some of my coins, what I collected when I were. Metal detecting. Some Romans and things like that. Right, guys. Against the grain. Beauty. Beauty. See, some some might keep it shiny. I don't. I, I like patina on mine. 
I like them to go a bit duller and a bit this colour and I think it's better. Personally, people's different. But anyhow. Well, I've already gone that way, haven't I? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Clear as a bell, that is. Clear as a bell. It's beautiful. It's a cracking razor. And to be fair, it's not in the high-end bracket. It's not, you know, a high-end price. I think it's £96, I think it is. Well, they must be good because they're out in stock. They've sold out. You know how some razors, when you're down to Adam's apple, and this is a lot of, lot of men's problem area, is where this is all these Velcro outside and all things like that. Sometimes I get a bit sore. Just look at this, this little bit here. This is not going to make me sore, I'll tell you now, for nothing. No way. That's awesome, honestly, guys. That is really, really good. It surprised me, that, actually. That is really good. You get... I'm not mentioning no names, but you get some razors that's very cheaply made and you can tell they're cheap. You know, when you shave them, you, you can tell that they're dirt cheap. Uh, but you get some that's a bit like this. They're a bit more, not, not in the higher end bracket, like I've said, price-wise. But you get them that's a, a little bit properly made, let's say. Properly made and everything. And you can tell the difference. I can. I can tell. I've said I've been shaving. I'm saying every time I know I've been shaving 50 years. And I can tell the difference in a well-made high-end razor to a absolutely 15 quid, 20 razor. You know what I mean? Which I suppose you can do anyhow. Lots of, lots of people, but... Right, let's see. Uh, uh, touch up that. There's not that much to touch up, to be fair. No. This soap's beautiful. It's lovely soap, guys. I can't work out what it is. Oh, it's lovely. I just can't work out what that scent is. It's definitely citrus in it. It's the slightest bit of spice to it, but... But it reminds me of something else. I don't know. I have just don't know. I just do not know, guys. Right. Nothing up there at all, apart from trim round with tash. Beautiful, beautiful. So if you're in the market, guys, or in the rabbit hole, for a nice razor, a well-made, well-engineered, massively, beautiful razor, that's me, BBS. That's me, BBS, guys. I'll tell a little bit here. That's it. That's it, guys. 
If you're in the market, just have a look. Have a look at them and see what you think. So obviously, there's some more videos. Uh, some more videos on YouTube rather than and just mine, like. So if you can have a look and and just see, see what you think. You know what I mean? Here, uh, great, absolutely great. Like I've said before earlier, and just let the razor do the work. Don't press on. Just leave it. They said, hey, somebody said it's ever so mild. I don't think it is, to be fair. I don't think it's mild. It's not aggressive. Don't get me wrong. It's about a medium, I would say. It's definitely a medium. It's not It's not aggressive and it's not mild. Actually, this is just my personal opinion. You know what I mean? Nobody else's opinion. It's just mine. Well, I'm not going to be sore from that. I'll tell you that for now. No way, Jose. Right, we'll go around with Mr. Allen and we'll find out. I'm just emptying his sink. Nothing. This is where he was to get bite down here. There is nothing at all. Nothing, guys. Absolutely nothing. Beautiful, beautiful. Let me just rinse this uh, sink out while we're waiting. Because if I don't, she'll play hell. So <laughs> she don't bless her. She don't play with me. She don't play hell with me. Tell me off, but she don't play out with me. <laughs> so we'll go through what we've used today. Right, the brush we've used today is the Frank Shaving 26mm Best Badger. And it's a beauty. It's an absolute beauty. I'll put a link. Don't forget, if you go on to, I'll put a link in the description below. Or if you don't want to go on to my link, go on to Frank Shaving website. And when you come to check out, uh, type in Foxy20 in mid letters, you get 20% off. So that's that. Uh, I will also put a link uh, to Viv, uh, who makes the Fox bowls. I'll put the, as you've seen, I've already put the new bowls, what she's made. And brushes sets at the front are oh, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Total craftswoman she is, it really is. Uh, uh, right, that's that bit done. Today, the soap we've used is the Reggie's Razors Shaving Cream, and it's lovely, it really is nice. What's the weight of that? Let me have a look. I can't see, it must say somewhere. 125 mils, 4.2 fluid ounces. So, good. Very good. And the razor creates absolute bang on. Look at water it. Oh, that's good. Bang on. And I mean it. It's bang on. So, thank you again, Jonathan, for getting that to me. That's lovely. And the blade we've used in it is a treat, black beauty, which suits my skin down to the ground. Maybe you Mr. Allen from ShaveNation.com. We're going to use a bit of Aqua Velva now. In fact, we'll just wipe this off. A bit of Aqua Velva splash with extra menthol in it. And I'll put a link downstairs to uh, the razor. Downstairs, the link to the soap, which will be on the same website. And like I said, also a link to Frank's shaving brushes. Right. Miller, Miller bottles, glass bottle. This is only, I'm trying to get rid of this first before I use my glass bottle. Oops, it's a fair old amount here. Oh, man. Oh. No sting at all. Nothing. Nice, cool. Oh, man. 
Beautiful. Absolutely out in this world. Can't beat a shave, can you? <laughs> oh, I love it. I love to have a good shave. Feels so fresh and clean and, you know what I mean? Really, you know, up there like it. I feel great when I've had it. So, and we, well, we soak the brush in the Old Spice uh, shaving mug. That is cooling me down, lovely. Been a nice day today. So I've been to a place called Alford near, not far from Mablethorpe, near Skegness that way, just to sell these coins. What I've got, so, right, we'll crack on, we'll put the most expensive cream on in the world. There's not much left of this, I don't think. Oh God, that was a bit of a fart do I didn't take that. I've used it all. Oh, now, I've used it all, I think. Let's have a look. Must be some left in it, surely. Let's try and squeeze the last drop out for that price. That's it, there's no come out of it. I'll have to get something different. So we can throw that away. Right, so what we're gonna use, I'll tell you what we're gonna use, guys. We're gonna go to the R corn M, which is Spot on, can't fault it. <sighs> Absolutely beautiful. Really is. <sighs> Look at that shine. Oh, that's it guys. That's it for this one. Let me just rinse my hands. So, what day are we on? Friday, Saturday. Uh, so it'll be Monday head shave off camera and Tuesday back to a face shave. So we will catch you all later and thank you very much once again to Jonathan love you all bye for now <laughs>